Check on the current on barrel we just got this in and this is uh now the bottom one right there it's a 2 p.m advisory we just got it in early 70 mile per hour winds which brings it to a tropical storm right now no longer a hurricane it's probably going to be temporary as it regains some strength when it gets over the gulf of mexico later this weekend pressure's up it was 980 now it's 986 and it slowed down its forward progression by a hair west northwest about 15 miles per hour so the big change we're now no longer a hurricane but we are a tropical storm and it's only temporary as it is expected to hop into the warmer waters of the gulf of mexico gain strength either saturday into sunday turning into the possibility of a hurricane again so here's what we're watching see it's moving up to the west northwest 15 miles per hour and it really has degraded over the last couple frames notice that all the big thunderstorm action across the middle part of the storm it's falling apart right there, Craig, and that's mm. expected when it gets yeah. over land. The power source clearly is the hot water. Yeah, it hasn't been a tropical storm since last Saturday. I'm looking back at my notes. Oh, good point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Last week? Saturday week. It's been almost a week. It's how intense the storm has been. <sighs> Bob, we've been, we've been watching this here with Sam behind the scenes, meteorologist, and it's moving over a piece of land in the Yucatan Peninsula. It could have gone a little farther south. That would have spent more time over land, right. lost its energy, but didn't. It went farther north. And no surprise, we were talking about about it being stronger. The stronger storms going a little bit north. Mm -hmm. And then the steering mechanism may help to drive it to the north. So right. more focus in on Texas, which we have been saying for a couple of days, pay attention to the forecast as we watch what happens as this finally comes off the Yucatan Peninsula. Even more so, you need to pay attention all across portions of Texas. It's the weekend. It's summer. It's a holiday weekend. Yeah. You're going to start to feel the effects in the ocean just uh, probably in the next 24 hours at least. Yeah, we were thinking that once it hops offshore, the waves are going to be out there and that energy mm -hmm. is going to be progressing farther north and out to the west so all the states around the gulf of mexico you're going to be dealing with strong rip, rip currents especially tomorrow morning early and that's going to last you the entire weekend because that is what we're dealing with first and then like you said you can see the progression moving up to the north uh, no watches yet but we still have the possibility of whenever you have a land falling hurricane or tropical storm right. tornadoes are also a bet yeah all the water spouts tornadoes yeah. for sure and the amount of rain that'll be coming yep. down severe th storm threat already out there uh, so if you are there right now if you have family who is there Letting them know that maybe you need to get off the island because a lot of times these bridges close down. Yep. Uh, making sure that you've got some extra food, being ready for power outages. Here's a look at the circulation. Yeah, and this is going to be, yeah, this is right now just about 65 miles east, southeast of Progreso, Mexico, right about here. But it goes off the it's almost like it's taking that little notch off where it's like, okay, we got less land. I'm going to go this direction. And then, watch what happens. It goes a little farther north, Bob. And yeah, look at this. You this got some dryer on model. the back side of it, but still, it's got some impressive uh, room to grow. This See, is the Fox now, model. And now you're noticing the banding coming in. This is early Sunday morning. See, the Ooh. bands are starting to form once again. That's when it's going to start gaining some strength. And uh, how much strength it gains before it makes another landfall, either in northern Texas or the Texas coastline somewhere. Ooh. That all remains to be seen, but that's going to be a heavy rainmaker. Good news is, we were talking about it before, if you remember Hurricane Harvey, that sat over mm -hmm. northern Texas for a long period of time. Had that one feeder band that came off the Gulf of Mexico and just pounded away at Houston, dropped at least 50 inches of rain in some of these areas. Not the case right. here, but we are anticipating lots of waves, lots of wind, lots of rain but not 55 inches worth of rain. This is the latest thinking right there. Yeah. It's about 8 to 12. It's important to note that, right? Because yeah. uh, when you think about this, you think about what happened. And you think about the rivers and streams and creeks also will be dealing with a lot of rain. Flooding will be an issue. You look mm -hmm. at the amount of rain widespread. Even at places like Austin, San Antonio, and a lot of people go to the coast for this weekend. Yeah. Maybe it's better you head off a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe cut your plans out. I would say that's a good, good idea, good suggestion. Yeah. You can see the flooding concerns are going to be remaining in place through the early part of next week, through at least Tuesday. All right, well, barrel remains our top priority. We're all talking about the tropics still buzzing with activities. There's one area that's in the Pacific that we've been watching as well. Believe it or not, that's falling apart, but barrel right there is one that we've been watching. Then you look just over to the east of there, center portion of your screen, main development region. Bob, it is looking a little more quiet, I which is good Jack news. I see squat right there, which is great I, That news. is so good, right? That's not the what dust. it looked like last week. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of dust coming off the coast right. there. It's going to help suppress some of those storms. And you notice where we put the barrel sign right there? That mm -hmm. was 96L, and that's yeah. no longer anything. We're not tracking that. It was a 20% chance of maybe some development mm -hmm. on the heels of where barrel was. Uh, it's, a, it's a complex of storms right now, but not anticipating at least the National Hurricane Center saying 
not going to turn into anything at this point. They stopped looking at it. That's it's great because it was following in the path. And then when you think about the islands that were already yeah, hit, that yeah. was a concern for additional rain. Mm -hmm. uh, so we watch closely. And as we go into the week ahead, probably going to start to quiet down in that area. Also, we talked about the Pacific, the Eastern Pacific. There's that area there. We finally have our first name storm. It took a while, but that's okay. We'll take it. No surprise, though, for right. sure. Again, expected to weaken as we go into today and into tonight as well. So that's some good news for us. Here's what we've got when we take a look at what's going Going on for the we talked about the main immediate development future. yeah yeah immediate future this is July 10th through the 16th I don't see much happening which is obviously great news mm -hmm. last week it was it looked like the conga line starting to form right, they were one after the other one after the other right now we're not looking at too much which obviously great news and part of the reason why is there because we have the dust yeah we've got that graphics perfectly it shows exactly where it is and that's a bona fide dust outbreak and it's something oh, yeah, you want right. to yeah. see and, and it is generally they peak out with the uh, Saharan dust around July or so mm -hmm. Begins to fall apart just in time for hurricane season's peak day, and that's September 10th. It was so but, dry yeah. in Africa, and you had a lot of that dust going all the way up to Europe. They had air quality issues. Uh, that's how far it was traveling.